Hello everyone, today I discovered a very interesting game, called Multiverse Loot Hunter. This is a dimension crossing, simulation, and management turn-based combat adventure game. The story follows the protagonist awakening special powers, allowing them to freely travel through different dimensions, such as cultivation, history, martial arts, key, magic, and the future. Through battles, they collect equipment, spirit beasts, characters, and manuals scattered across these various dimensions. You can try to max out the stats right when creating the character. It would be interesting to see if you can bypass the usual limits, and start with a powerful character. As usual, use the software cheat engine to attempt modifying the data. Open the software and find the program Multiverse Loot Hunter. Let's search for the number of available stat points, 20. Then, search for 18 after spending 2 points, and it should work. Wait, what happened? Why did everything fail so quickly? It seems like the game data might not be stored directly within the game application. Let's try searching for the game process itself to see if we can locate the relevant data there. Wow, there are so many processes for this game and they all have the same name. Looks like we'll have to try them one by one to find the right one. The first process only has 64 instances of 18s, which is too few. It probably isn't the one we're looking for. Let's move on to the next one. The second process has even fewer only 24 instances. Let's move on to the next one and see if we have better luck. This one has 1,635 instances, seems more promising, go ahead and start checking through them. It disappeared again so frustrating, please make sure to give the creator lots of encouragement, your support is my biggest motivation, hit the like button to show your love, your support keeps me creating. Looks like this can't be solved easily. Let's try a new method non-specific data ink, deck scanning. We'll change the data type to all and set the scan type to unknown. Let's see how this works. Instead of searching for specific values, we'll just focus on whether the data increases or decreases. This way, we can track changes in the data more easily. First, keep reducing the data by one at a time. Then, search for all the data that has decreased to filter out the relevant values. There are still 2,350 for left. Now keep increasing the values to narrow it down further. Even though this process has a lot of data, it seems like the information isn't here either. Let's try another method or process. The next one seems more promising. I'll give it another try using the non-specific data, increment decrement scan method again. Let's see if this works. Wow, finally found it. There are two suspicious 22s, which are exactly double the current points of 11. Looks like we're on the right track. Double click these two values, and just like before, either lock them in or change them to a really large number. Ha ha ha, success. Case solved, to make it easier for everyone to find, here's a summary. 1. The data you're looking for is in the game process, with the largest amount of data. 2. The data is stored as double the displayed value. If you found this helpful please hit the like button. Thank you for watching.